<clears throat> Yo, what's up you guys? Dex here. Today I'm bringing you a little video on some settings that I think could be useful to some of you in Overwatch. The game just dropped the other day. I'm so excited that it's finally here. It kind of came as like an earth early birthday present for me, you know? My birthday's Friday. Overwatch dropped. It's like it's like they wanted to give it to me. So so thank you so much to the Blizzard gods. I'm so pumped. So let's dive in. Let's check out some of these settings. I want to let you guys know about them. That way you can get them turned on. You can check them out in game and see if you like them, okay? So first off, there are many different characters. There's like, I think like 21 um, different characters you can play in this game. There's different play styles with them, different different roles you can play while in game with your teammates and whatnot. And you really want to be able to capitalize on playing each character the way you would like to um, to your preference, you know. So uh, these some of these things I want to tell you about. We're just in the in the options menu, um, and this is this is for Overwatch on PC. I don't know how these might might vary on Xbox or PlayStation. Um, well, so I know that's kind of weird because usually my most of my content that I upload is usually like console stuff. So this is kind of different for me. It's kind of different recording like gameplay, maybe tutorials, whatever I'm going to be doing for my content on PC. It's different, you know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where it goes. But you know, I love this stuff. I love. I love this stuff. You know, I just said that. You know, whatever. Whatever. Okay. You forgot about the horn. For those of you that have never come to my Twitch stream, you don't know about the horn. But watch out. Anyways, let's dive in. So first off, these are some of my settings I already have set up um, for my gameplay, my settings and whatnot for me. So I'm not going to really dive into that because everyone's different PCs are going to run at different settings and uh, and all that jazz. So I'm not really going to go too much with that. But as you can see, you have all your settings. Blah, blah, blah. Um, what I did want to talk about over here is in the controls. Um, first off, you can change your controls for different heroes. Okay? Like, look at all these. Like, I can set up different settings different sensitivities, different different keybinds for the movement for each different hero. Yo, shout out to the, shout out to Twitter on my phone. So, that's cool. Um, two of the ones I really wanted to point out for sure, Soldier 76, one of my personal favorites, right? He's got an ability to kind of heal some people around him. So, he's not a designated support hero. So, he you can't always see your, your teammates health bars right so there's a setting here under soldier 76 you can come down here and turn on your allied health bars okay so I'm gonna do that now we're gonna, we're gonna do this together it's like teamwork you know boom boom makes the dream work <laughs> anyways turn that on we're gonna do the same thing um, for Zarya as well oh geez wrong button back to options Back to controls. Let's make sure that one's saved because, you know, I don't want you to be, like, calling me out later on. So, yeah, allied health bars. Good. I don't want to restore defaults. So how do I just go back one? I'm such a... See, I told you I'm a noob. So, anyways, we're going we're gonna to jump on to, um, to uh, Zarya as well. And she kind of has the same thing. You can turn on the allied health bars for her as well. That way, whenever you're playing as that character, you can turn on... The health bars, you can see them. You can see what's going on with your teammates. You can heal and maybe save their lives, you know. You can be even a better teammate, whether you're playing with your friends or with random people. And I promise you, everyone will love you just for that. It'll be like, oh, you're the best. You're the best. Um, another setting, um, another thing that we have is that Widowmaker. Um, you can use, she's a sniper. You can use the different um, <clears throat> sensitivities for while, while I zoomed in on a scope. To my knowledge, I believe she's the only one that's going to be zooming in with the scope. So they have an extra sensitivity setting on that as well. So that's really cool. That's some useful things there. I'm sure there's plenty more that we're going to find out. But I just want to make sure you can see those quick settings to um, to get them turned on. I really think that that you'll be uh, you'll be happy with that. Um, in the gameplay, um, you could. Some people don't like watching kill cams. I, sometimes I like seeing what my opponents are doing. I want to see where I failed, where I peaked at. Where maybe I should not go again whenever I die. I make a lot of mistakes. I'm, you know, I'm new to this game. I kind of like a lot of us, you know. So one thing I do think is key that you'll really enjoy is here the kill feed display. 
I already have mine turned on. One of my buddies told me about it. But I really think you'll enjoy seeing like whenever you or your teammates are getting these kills. Most games like Call of Duty, Destiny, stuff like that that you play some PvP in, probably even Halo, you normally see the kill feed, right? Like you want to see who's dying, how fast they're dying. If you pick up like a sick four piece, you want to be like boom, 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 boom. You see him dropping down the screen, you're like, yeah, Daddy Dex just did that, you know? So you definitely want that that gratification. Sometimes it might clarify who picks up the kills, even though you get you get credit for eliminations as as team kills and stuff like that but it's still cool to see who kind of gets the final kill and to have that like I said that instant gratification knowing hey I just got him or yeah I got a three piece or you know we got they got four guys down right now we, maybe we need to push the payload or something you know I don't know all different kind of things that we're gonna start learning about as we we get a little more competitive and learn this game a little bit more so I definitely wanted to turn those on um, and make sure you guys knew about them Alright, so another thing I want to touch on is going to be for, for Genji, for Hanzo, and Junkrat. Um, you have settings that, that you can turn on here as well to automatically climb walls. You can turn this on. If you want it on, you can do that for Genji. You can do it for Hanzo. Boom, you can do it there. And you can do it for Junkrat. Right here. So the rip tire can automatically climb, climb the walls as well. I think I'm probably going to turn that one on. That way you don't have to hold, I think you normally have to hold the jump key to be able to do that. So you might enjoy being able to just hit that wall and but shh, just keep on rolling through, you know. So I want to make sure you guys know about that as well. So that's pretty much going to be all for today's video. Um, I just wanted to make a, that quick, this quick little tips just to uh, help you get your gameplay rolling. See a couple things you might can adjust to uh, make your experience better, right, as you're learning and, and figuring out the game for yourself. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like. I'll catch you guys soon. Have a great day. Peace.